In this video, we're going to learn how to make a line plot in R using both base R and ggplot2. We're just going to start by loading in the tidyverse for ggplot, and we're creating some fake date data for this lesson. Now, to make a line plot in base R, you can just use the normal plot function, the same one you would use for a scatter plot. Put the year on the x axis or whatever your time variable is and then put whatever the values you want to plot on the y-axis. And then you just include this extra argument here, type equals L, and that will change it to a line plot type. Um, I'm also just going to add points to the plot. So let's run this and see what the result is. So this line plot helps us see visually a strong positive growth trend over time in this data we created. Now we can make essentially the same plot in ggplot2 by taking the data, piping it to ggplot, Again, we want year on the x-axis, the values on the y, and we're going to use geom line to create the line plot, so we're adding geom line. When we run this, we'll have a very similar plot to the one above. We didn't add points this time, but other than that, it looks very similar. I'll just do one final line plot with some groups and some other options to show you the kinds of things you can do with line plots. So when we generated the data, we actually made three different data sets. We're just gonna start by gathering those together to create three different groups. Then we're going to plot those groups with ggplot. So we're going to color by the groupings. And we're also going to add in a geom smooth that just creates a trend line essentially. So you can see the general trend of the data. I'm gonna put in some manual colors here. If we run this, we should have a line plot, but with three different groupings of data all in the same plot, and with some custom colors and some trend lines. So that's the basics of how to make line plots in R using both base R and ggplot2. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like, and if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.